Good evening. Today we're going to just graph one full period of 2 cos pi x minus 1 plus 3. So let's just get started uh, analyzing what's going on here. And first, the amplitude is equal to 2, the amplitude of the graph. Um, B, this value here, which is just pi, is going to tell us the period of the graph. And the period is always 2 pi over b, which in this case is pi. So the period of the graph in this case is going to be just 2. Here we have the phase shift, and the phase shift in this case is just positive 1. And I'm going to call that c, just positive 1. Just because the basic um, graph is y equals a cos, I blanked out there for a second, sorry about that x minus c plus d, minus c, so we have minus 1, so c is positive 1. And d, the displacement, is just 3, which is going to tell us where, um, where the graph basically has its center. So the graph is centered at y equals 3, right here, positive 3. Um, the amplitude of the graph is 2. Right, so it's going to go up by 2 and down by 2. And C is 1, so that's basically where the graph is going to start. Uh, so it starts basically here. And since it's a cosine graph, it's going to start at its maximum. And the maximum is going to be 2 units up from the displacement, because the amplitude is 2, and the displacement is 3, right? So the maximum would be here. And um, actually, because the, the period is, uh, I don't like what I did here. I'm just going to make one over there, just because the period is two units. So that would be sort of too short for me to, to graph. So let's say that the, each tick is a quarter. And this is the maximum point then, right here, at five. Because again, of course, this is the amplitude. And cosine always starts at the maximum, so instead of starting here, it was shifted up to the right by 1 because of C. Anyways, okay, so the full period is 2 units. So one full period will go from 1 all the way up to 3. And so if it started here, it's going to go down and come back up here. Then I like to subdivide sine and cosine functions into four equal parts. And the parts are going to be, well, one full period will be from here to there. So if we do subdivide it into four equal parts, the half will be here, a quarter way through will be here, and three quarters of the way through would be here. And what does that mean? Well, for a cosine function, it's going to go from the maximum to the middle and down to the minimum halfway through. Then it's going to go back up to the middle, and then finally all the way back up here. Um, let me just pick a different color to graph. So one full period will resemble, hopefully I'll make this smooth enough, this right here. Then of course that's going to continue forever this way and that way, but we're just interested in graphing one period of the graph. And um, hopefully that made good sense. I'm going to graph quite a, bu a bit more uh, and leave it on the website. And the website is www.acleaders. Oh, this is going to be horrible. I have no room. Dot com slash trig dot html. And I will have quite a, quite a few graphs there. So you guys can take a look at them and, and learn. So have a great day and thank you.